So this is the moment of a force about a specified axis. So if we had an axis, A, A, we had a force out here called F, and we had a position vector R, then the resulting moment would be something like this. It's equal to R cross F. And now, say we wanted to find the moment about AA. So we got this moment, and then we're trying to find this moment, MA. Okay, so the magnitude of MA is going to be equal to the unit vector of A dotted with R cross F. Okay, so if we write that out, it would be MA is equal to UAXI plus UAYJ plus UAZK dotted with IJK RX, RY, RZ, FX, Fy, Fc. Okay, so if we do that cross product, we get Ma is equal to Uaxi plus Uayj plus Uazk, and that's dotted with Ry, Fz minus Rz, Fy in the i direction, minus r x f z minus r z f x in the j, plus r x f y minus r y f x in the k direction. Okay, so now we do the dot product you're going to get UAX times RYFZ minus RZFY minus UAYRX um, FZ minus RZFX plus UAZRXFY minus R, Y, F, X. Okay. So, we have that our magnitude is equal to U, A, X dotted with R cross F. And you can write that as just U, A, X, U, A, Y, U, A, Z, R, X, R Y R Z F X F Y F Z. And we just proved that because we've got our determinant, the R Y F Z minus R Z F Y, right? So that's um, that's R Y F Z minus R Z F Y, and you multiply it by I, right? The part that you covered up. So instead, now we've got UAX. So you're multiplying instead of by I, by UAX. So that's that's what we just proved. So it's UAX times RYFZ minus RZFY. It's the same thing. You're going to minus that middle column, UAY, multiplied by RXFZ minus RZFX. Okay. And then, so this gives you your magnitude of the moment about the A axis. And now to find the um, vector, we would take the magnitude multiplied by the unit vector, and that's it.